This is going to be an overview of the Electro Optics Analysis Software from Taylor Hobson, or known on the desktop as EOA. At the top is the version number, which is very important to let us know if you have any questions what version you're using. It may be a new problem, or it may be a problem that has already been solved in an updated version. The top left hand icon is the home page. At anywhere in the software, by pressing this icon, you'll return to this home page. These are global settings. We'll discuss this in a separate video, which allows you to set languages and conditions for the measurement. Here is a help page. Click in here, we'll go into a PDF handbook, which can be scrolled through and read. You can put in a search box and search for a keyword. This will then be found and it will scroll through and continue. The icons themselves represent the measurement types which are going to be analyzed from data input from either the Taylor Hobson Ultra or Tacolimator, the Taylor Hobson Talivel 6 or a keyboard. They are single axis straightness. You'll see a hint pops up when the cursor is moved over the icon. Or dual axis straightness. We can then do a measurement of flatness using a union jack method. Flatness using a grid method. There's additional analysis methods for polygons, enhanced polygons, polygons using what is known as the pilgrim step method, two steps forward, one step back, and measurement of polygons when tilted at 90 degrees. Further analysis of results from the straightness can be taken either to calculate the squareness of two measurements, one measurement horizontal, the second one vertical using a 90 degree optical square, or the relationship of two straightness measurements for parallelism. And this will give you the effective difference in slope. On the right, we can measure twist. This is a combination of measurement with an autocollimator and a tally valve to measure the straightness and the twist of two parallel surfaces. The last one is what's called integrated straightness. Instead of using the base, for instance, of a tally valve or a mirror, it uses the actual instrument's measurement bed itself and measures the straightness using that base length. At the bottom, you can recall previous results to see them at any future date. The final option is to close the program.